What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5. And today I want to talk about Firestorm and how I feel that the mode needs to be free. I think the mode needs to be something that you can go on no matter if you play on PS4, whether you play on Xbox, whether you play on PC. You can go to the store, download it, and it be a standalone thing by itself. You do not have to own Battlefield 5 in order to play Firestorm. And the reason I think this is because some things that have happened over the past few days. First of all, we had the EA kind of the, the meeting, you know, the callings meeting where they talked about everything, uh, kind of EA in general. And one thing they stated was Firestorm had brought a million players into the Battlefield 5 game, which is a good thing. You know, I made a video about that a few days ago, talked about that is a good thing for the game as a whole. But at the same time, I find it interesting that just a few days ago as well, DICE drops the duos mode from Firestorm, and their statement was there was just a lack of interest in the duos mode. That does sound like a player base issue. Now, it could be some people either have no one to play with, so they're going to play solos, or they have multiple friends online, so they have to play squads. DICE did say they were expecting to bring back duos, but it is kind of bad at the same time. Firestorm has not been out for the whole lifespan of Battlefield 5. Firestorm has only been out a couple months. And if it's seeing that big of a drop in player base, according to DICE, that they have to take one of the modes away, I don't think that is a great sign for the game. It is hard to have a battle royale, in my opinion, this day and time that is not free, that is not separate from anything else you do. You take Fortnite, you take Apex, uh, which is another EA uh, game as well. You take H1Z1. PUBG, of course, you do pay for. It's not a huge amount, but you do pay for it. But if you look at the free-to-play battle royale games, most people are going to play those. Why would you go buy Battlefield, especially if you're not a huge Battlefield fan? Why would you go buy Battlefield just to play Firestorm, even if Battlefield 5 was on sale? So I think they need to take the Firestorm mode out of Battlefield 5 as a, a kind of thing that is combined with the game once you purchase it and make it a whole separate, you know, free-to-play, downloadable for anybody that wants to play it kind of idea. I think that would be better. I even look at Apex now, and I know a lot of people play Apex. I've played Apex some myself, but I have heard a lot of kind of grumblings about Apex saying there's not enough content, and that's why it's losing players. You can even look at Fortnite to an extent. It has lost players over time. Even though Fortnite does a good amount of content, it's just Battle Royale as a whole, kind of in my opinion, is maybe a little too oversaturated. I mean, some people say they're bored of the Battle Royale. They're tired of the Battle Royale kind of idea. I've never been a massive fan of it. I will play it. I do enjoy Battle Royale for what it is, but it's not something that I'm going to sit down and play like I'm going to play certain multiplayer style games. But if you look at Apex, if Apex is a free-to-play EA Battle Royale game and people are saying there's not enough content and it's struggling, why does EA think, even if they put a lot of content into Battlefield 5, why do they think people would go out and pay for that? They can just go on to a different free-to-play style game. Uh, battle royale game let's say apex starts getting tons of uh you know improvements and things people are just going to play that instead of buying battlefield 5 and being able to play firestorm through the purchase of that game so i think overall ea and dice need to look at firestorm if they really want to do things with this mode and it just wasn't kind of a second thought that they did because they were worried a lot of people say they were worried and i kind of can can see it worried because Black Ops is even going to have a Battle Royale mode, you know, with Blackout. But even to me, Blackout, I think, should have been free to play as well. Because no, you know, no person is going to go out and buy a game for 60 bucks just to play a certain mode out of it. I don't really see Battlefield and Call of Duty being competitors. I have played both games, every single title ever created by either Call of Duty or Battlefield. I've played them all. I know there's not a lot of people that play both, but I've always played both because I like them for their differences. And in my opinion, their communities are a lot different. I don't think they've ever really been that much of a competitor. But I think both companies kind of saw that whole, oh my gosh, Battle Royale is this great thing. Everybody's playing it. We better get on the bandwagon now to see if we can get some players. And I don't think you need to approach it that way. I think DICE needs to make Firestorm free and make the improvements to it. Because even if they make it a great game right now, they improve it. And let's say within five or six months, it's one of the best Battle Royale modes out there. I still don't see the player base getting that big because you have to pay full price for the Battlefield 5 game. 
So guys, leave me a comment. Do you think Firestorm would be more of a success if it was free to play? And do you think DICE should definitely consider this? And do you think DICE is even really worried about the Firestorm mode? Do you think they're just in kind of, you know, a mode where they're just throwing this in there to get it out there because that is what's popular now? Of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.